Have you seen 12 Monkeys? Yes, and I liked it a lot. I need to watch it again. Um, do, you, do you guys remember back when, um, back when Bruce Willis knew how to act? Do you guys remember that? Like back in, the, back in the day when Bruce Willis was capable of acting before like the fatal, not fatal, sorry, the, the, the like devastating like neural failing that destroyed his ability? Yeah. Bruce Willis is retiring from acting now. He announced it today. Wait, today? Wait, this day, today, the one day that I make a comment about it? Re wait, really? Like 20 minutes ago? What? He's been diagnosed with aphasia? Wait, does, is this why he can't act? Loss of ability to understand or express speech caused by great brain damage? Oh my god. Holy shit. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I, I comment, I, I just randomly, in response to 12 Monkeys, a movie that came out, like, when I was born, basically, and it just so happens that within an hour... <sighs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I see how it is. Red Letter Media was right. Did they, did they predict that? That it, w it, it was like some kind of thing? Because I'd wondered about that too. Because like, if you look at older movies with Bruce Willis in it, he can act. He's good. I mean, it's, there's a reason. Like, he's like a household name practically. But there's such a huge difference between how he used to be and how he is, you know, now. Or I guess how he has been for the past like 15 years. What was, what's the most recent movie? where he can clearly act, you know? Um, I'm, try I'm trying to think, like, what what's the most recent Red? No, no, hold on. Not Looper. Come on, guys. Not Red. No, we need to go back earlier than that. You, you really think Looper? Okay, if you think Looper was Bruce Willis acting, then you haven't seen 12 Monkeys. Red was good? Uh, this is I'm not, it's, it's not about Red. It's just about, like, his abilities, you know? Unbreakable? Sure, well, then we're going way back, right? Um, <clears throat> obviously unbreakable, yeah. Glass and Split were okay. I have heard very negative things. Wash, what are you asking? The last time Bruce Willis demonstrated, like, significant acting chops. Damn, that fucking sucks. This, he must have been keeping this quiet for so long, too. Like, like, they had to have known, at least they had to have had a feeling, like, like, years ago. The last Sin City movie. I never saw the second Sin City movie. The first Sin City movie, I felt like Bruce Willis was, was demonstrating, you know, a, a decent acting, you know, ap acting chops. <clears throat> is this a really good excuse for bad acting? I mean, if you wanted to, sure, but, like, the writing is pretty on the wall, right? Like, that's a pretty committed bit to be, like, multi-millionaire, like, famed actor. Like, let, let me just noticeably decline for 15 years as part of this epic bit that we're preparing, you know? <laughs> it's, it's definitely, um, <clears throat> that's definitely a long way, a long way there. Brad Pitt has face blindness? Huh. Well, that probably won't, that's not the same as, like, cognitive decline. Um, right? I think. Um, it's, it's just a, yeah, it's just like a, a personality thing. Bruce Willis has also been very active and starred in a lot of movies in the past year. Most of them shit. I guess he's trying to like make as much money as he can before he dips. Um, yeah, I don't know. I did like the first Sin City a lot though. Um, <clears throat> I did. Uh, I remember back in the days when Frank Miller was not a fucking psychopath. Well, he was a little bit. Um, I remember back in the days when he was a less destructive fucking psychopath. Um, those were the days. I really did like the uh, Sin City graphic novels. Why didn't you watch Arcane if you had time to watch American Psycho? I fucking love you guys, man. Dude, you could have you could have watched your League of Legends Netflix anime. Why did you take the time to rewatch a, a, a cinema classic? <laughs> but, <laughs> I love you. <clears throat> he was good in Moonrise Kingdom, but that only half counts because the Wes Anderson shtick is that everyone doesn't really act like a human. Yeah, Wes Anderson acting is definitely a different ball game than um, non-Wes Anderson acting. I think you can, yeah. I I feel like I feel like if I was put in a Wes Anderson movie and I was given good direction, I could come off looking like a really good actor. Not because I am one, but because the writing is so good. You know, like I feel like the just the shot composition and color palette of every scene that I'm in would be so good 
that I could just stand there and like read my lines and people would be like, oh my God, he nailed that part. And I'd be like, thank, thank you. <laughs> it's very kind of you. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you just be acting like yourself. Yeah. American Psycho is the only good Brett Easton Ellis movie ever made. I'd love to do a remake of Less Than Zero. I actually wrote a script for it once. Oh, got some Hollywooders uh, in, in chat. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know much about the broader uh, context. I will watch Arcane. Please. Jesus. God. Vosh wouldn't be good in a Wes Anderson movie. He's too expressive. I could keep it together. You know, I could, I could keep it together. <clears throat> We need a Wolf of Wall Street style Vosh movie of my of my Sigma grind set. Damn, dude. Can you imagine how much better the Wolf of Wall Street would have been if it wasn't corrupted by like hangover tier comedies and it just focused on its subject like in a more I don't want to say mature way. I guess I want to say like a more like a, a more neurotic way, you know? That movie, I felt like I felt like the Wolf of Wall Street had so much brilliance like locked within it, and then and then they like they they got like the guy who made like American Pie, the guy who made um ha the Hangover, and then the guy who made like the the epic movie movies, and they were like, all right, you you guys need to come together and you need to write a script for this like awesome idea that we. <laughs> What a trash take. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, do you, do you get what I'm talking about? I don't know. Like, no? Okay, what a, whatever. Yeah. I still enjoyed the movie. No, the, the movie the movie was, was fine. It was just... Wasn't the Joker movie made by the Hangover guy? I'm, I don't liter I'm not literally shitting on the chops of the, of the director. I'm just talking about, like, the vibes that I got from it. Um, you know, obviously this is a little bit prescient given what I watched last night, but I feel like an American psycho toned Wolf of Wall Street would have had the potential to be an actual like cinema classic instead of a movie that dominated attention for like four months and then just kind of stopped being talked about that much. <laughs> Bosch hated Joker. I didn't hate Joker. What the fuck? Joker was literally just Taxi Driver. Do you guys want to hear a, a deep confession? I haven't seen Taxi Driver. It's been on my to watch list basically for as long as I've known how to write my own name in English, and I just have never got around to it. It's like the arcane situation, except it's going on for, like, my entire adult life. Yeah. It's just revenge porn? Well, it's about, it's about living in a society, is what I've heard. Baby Driver? I really liked Baby Driver. Who, who here remembers Baby Driver? I thought that was a good fucking movie. I thought that was a really solid fucking movie. Yeah. That was, that was really good. I feel like, um, I feel like that movie was the was the movie that introduced me to the idea that soundtrack choice could really matter in a film. Like you can that you can do more with music than just have like very basic tone setting in scenes and like setting people up for a jump scare by not having any music play. Like yeah, it's yeah, it's really really good. You seen Hot Fuzz? Yeah, I've seen Hot Fuzz. Um, Baby Driver was boring. Damn, how was it boring? I thought it slapped. You know. Um. It is a bit weird though, because Kevin Spacey's in it. He was accused a few months after it came out. Guys, do you want you want to know the truth? Okay, like fifty percent of people in Hollywood are probably like rapists and pedophiles. Okay, the only reason people fixate on uh, Kevin Spacey is because like he was stupid enough to get outed and then triple down with weird behavior. All right, like just it, yeah. If you that that shit. Who was it, who was it who talked about this? Like Gary Coleman, back in like the two thousands or whatever, where he talked about like all the predation that takes place behind the scenes and, like, how people won't speak up because it'll ruin their careers, you know? Was it Gary Coleman? Or my... Corey Feldman. Thank you. I knew there was... Yeah, Corey Feldman, not Gary Coleman. Um, <clears throat> who was it who shut him up? Was it, like... Was it Oprah? Was, it, was, was that Oprah who did that? Or am I thinking of another convo? I think there was an interview on, on Oprah's show one time where an actor went on and they talked about something like this and Oprah played it down? Or was that more recent? This all happened decades ago. This, no. I don't have enough of memory. It was some old lady? Yeah, okay. It was someone else on The View? Okay, has Oprah been on The View? Oprah's been on The... Right? I'm so sorry. I know so little about, like... No? Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know that much about the broader, like, celebrity circuit. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg? No, because if I meant that, then you would all accuse me of being racist. 